In this video, Jeffrey Chung from local modeling agency Jeffrey Chung Models tells us about the trends in the modeling industry and why new age models must have more than just beauty. Okay, now Jeffrey, last time you had a model search it was in 2005, right, Miss Tropicana? Yes. So how come three to the three to four years gap? All right, um, the response was good year 2005, Miss Tropicana. Um, but I guess we don't need every year to organize beauty pageants like this. Our search is only when there's a demand then we do it and for the fact that this year is a little bit low key so everybody got more time to groom models so this this is the season where actually we got more time to groom them we train them catwalks posing and then send them for casting and doing a lot of products launches and events sending them not only in local but overseas so in time to come maybe next year when the economy pick up they are more professional they are ready to market them to get lots of jobs is ready tell us about your 20 new faces mm. this year how are they different from the previous batch of recruits comparing to year 2005 when we did similar thing like the model search is that the response is overwhelming uh, because uh, we have people who enroll or rather to participate through phone calls, emailing and year 2005 was not that in yet All right. so uh, maybe we have better prices uh, we have handphones, we have fitness club membership we have a lot, a lot of things for them so I guess another thing is the prices and another factor uh, of why the response is great is because uh, a lot of the girls was thinking like if they could do modeling for another, uh, what should I say, another occupation or rather another of their jobs that they could actually try out because uh, some of them are not that busy in the day job. So probably they will try in modeling. That's what uh, the, the reason... The extra cash, right? Extra cash, yeah. They got more time. So they got less OT. Okay, this is one of the reason. So they finish work on time at 5 o'clock. So they think that, oh, I got more time. And because of that, they got lesser... Uh, uh, time on leisure because the boyfriend also do not want to spend more money and time so they say okay I got more time so much I do modeling this year there was also a lot more applicants how many are we talking about how many people apply surprisingly we have 600 over applicants yeah but we have no time to audition all uh, we managed to audition about 100 girls and we actually requested to see only the girls but surprisingly we have 50 over guys who actually write in so we managed to screen through and select two, so become 18 girls and two guys. I was going to ask, you know, why 18 girls and only two guys? <laughs> uh, we need more girls because of the industry. The jobs are more. Okay. Worldwide, it's the same thing. So uh, they request more. For modeling jobs, they, the, the girls get more jobs. It's like 80% of the modeling jobs, or rather the phone calls or the requests. Uh, it's it's more for girls. For girls, yeah. There's nothing wrong between girls or guys, but uh, we, if we oversign guys and then get lesser girls, it, it didn't work. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, who, now, we've seen the girls progress from day one till now. Yeah. Who do you think is the most versatile? I think all of them got a lot of potential. It's very, okay. very uh, undiscovered yet because as we progressively train them, we realize some of them can do MC, some can dance. Some can do very good PR mingling jobs. Some of them can actually mime and they sing and they really enjoy and all that. So uh, what we do is we fully develop, uh, develop their, their talents. We tap on that. Your models are not just models, they're multi-talented. Yes, we have to do that. Yeah? Yeah. Because okay. uh, Singapore is very small and we don't have uh, things like every day there's a fashion show. Every day you will see shoots. So if you are fighting for that area, it's very, very tough. And not forgetting that the clients nowadays would prefer Pan-Asian or Caucasian models. And we have models from overseas who actually fight with the jobs. So I would tell the girls, you have to be realistic. So if you're doing one area, you must well diversify. So if you are multi-talented or rather you have extra talents, let us work together. So today you see them doing fashion shows. The next day they're doing MC. After that they do impersonation job. So it's all about developing talents and really marketing your models, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, Is that the trend for new age models? I hope so. Yeah, uh, it's not easy actually because not all of them are born to be very, very proactive uh, talents. For example, when you do a mingling job or a promotion jobs, uh, be it a handphone or car show, you have to be proactive. That means you have to approach the people and you have to talk to the people. Similar to SQ Girls, you have to talk to the people, not people talk to you. 
So it's some uh, promotion and branding for certain products. Like if you look at the ID shows, they want the sales to go up and they want the product to speak for themselves. So we need the models as a vehicle between the products and the consumer. So the models not only having the looks, but they must be able to interact, meet up with the people and be very friendly. And they must be very knowledgeable also because a lot of things are like IT products. Yeah, you need to know. You must be IT savvy because how the products are related. It's so, not so, just beauty, it's brains too. Yes, right? brains. Brains and also your talents and your, your... I would say you must be brave enough to take up the challenge. Yeah. So is it safe to say that the job scope for models has broadened over the years as well? I would say from the year 1991 when I started, uh, I already plan it that I want to do it this way because I did modeling in the 80s I find that it's even in the 80s the modeling was very very tough yeah everybody was going for like an audition 500 models going for one auditions uh, which they select one or two models and talents so it's not easy so instead of waiting for that particular job why don't you try out if that agency is willing to push you up for all areas why not yeah provided you have that uh, potentials yeah Thank you, Jeffrey. Most welcome.